You're, you already know what it is. Welcome to another episode of In a Timely Fashion. It's your boy Divine, aka Dark Man X. Hi, your boy just got back from vacation, little vacation, like work. You already know what it is. Um, yeah. Thank you for everybody watching on YouTube. If you're watching here on YouTube, I hope you subscribe, like, and subscribe this video, please. If you're watching on IGTV, go to YouTube and like and subscribe. <laughs> but if you're watching on IGTV, follow your boy, show love. You already know what it is. Um, we're gonna keep this one short and sweet. Uh, I'm just gonna give y'all a sneaker releases for the week. And uh, yeah, so as always, sit back, relax, take in some of this dope. Yeah, you already know. As always, sneaker releases for this week. Starting right up. We got the Fragment Design by Jordan Brand Air Jordan 3. And Air Cadence, as they're calling it. So uh, this is coming out September 17th. Real simple design uh black and white three i love the threes the three silhouette you can't go wrong with uh, this is a collaboration with fragment design the head of fragment is hiroshi fujiwara i don't know if i said it right apologize apologies to you if i said it wrong um they have done you know they did collaborations with air jordan one back in the day uh fragment did a, a pair of levi's where they took away the the logo, the Levi logo, the, the, the traditional Levi logo, and put the lightning bolt on the back. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, so these are the Air Jordan 3s that he did. Kept it real simple with this silhouette. Had the white and black situation. It kind of reminds you of the uh, Tinker Hatfield 3 design. This is kind of cool though. Um, but these are simple. I'm, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of giving you that Concord feel also. Uh, these are gonna be hard to get. I like the lightning bolt on the back, kind of adds to it. Uh, these are alright, these are alright, these are kind of cool. Um, those are going for 200, the Air Jordan 3s. And moving on, we have the Air Cadence. The Air Cadence. You know what's crazy? I'm not that mad at these, man. I'm not that mad at these. These are kind of cool. Uh, I can see myself rocking these. These kind of remind me of like a, like a Y3 situation, you know. Wild three, wild three situation, you know. Um, yeah, kind of give me that feel. I guess it's it's the Japanese influence. Um, these are kind of cool. It's a, a trainer, a trainer sneaker. Um, I, I would dress these up. I would definitely dress these up. Wear with a, with a you know, with some some nice chinos suit, um, some corduroy. Now that it's starting to get cool outside. Yes, can't wait for that weather to drop and it's dropping, baby, here in New York at least. Uh, but yeah, the, the Air Cadence is going for 130. Um, this is a nice subtle colorway with the charcoal and the gray situation. Yeah, I'm not mad at this at all. Not mad at this. Uh, uh, yeah, going for 130. September 17th. September 17th. You can cop these on Nike sneakers app or on Foot Locker. So yeah, go ahead. Good luck. Uh, moving on, we have a cold wall by Converse Chuck Taylor, All-Star, Lugged, and ERX. Um, like I said, it's getting cold out there, so obviously they bringing out the boots. And these are the a cold, a cold wall, a cold wall boot. Um, these are going for 140, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, 160, actually. Um, these are going for one, 140 and, no, 140 for the, for the, for the boots. And for the other ERX, they're going for 160. Uh, this is um, uh, designed by Samuel Ross, uh, who, who who heads over there at uh, uh, Cold Wall. And um, these are these are interesting for, for some boots. Um, it's kind of a clean silhouette. I'm not that mad at these. Kind of got a sneaker feel, but it's a rough sneaker feel. Uh, sneaker boot hybrid, they call them. You know, that's like a thing now. These are kind of cool. I, I kind of can rock with these. You know, um, yeah, the silhouette is smooth. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see if they're gonna do any other colorways. But this colorway right here is clean. I actually kind of mess with these. I actually do kind of mess with these. Uh, but yeah, the ERXs, 
these. Uh, eh, try to do something different. Uh, I'm not really rocking with these like that. Not really rocking with these like that. But I see what they did. The bottom of it kind of looked like the, the old Reebok Classic bottom. It's an ice bottom situation with the with the smooth gray going on. I see what they're doing there. That's that's all right. You know, it is what it is. But nonetheless, it's a new design. I'm always here for new designs. But all new designs don't. They're not that popping. But yeah. Again, he's coming out September 17th. 140 for the Chuck Taylor boot. Uh, and then 160 for the ERX. Moving on. We got Kids Super by Puma. And um, Kids Super. These are Kids Super Tridash. Yeah, these are not it. These look like the homie the clowns. I am cool on these. Homie don't want that. Because <laughs> these are trash. What is going on here? Uh, Kid Super, if you remember him from back, you know, Hype Beast days, like starting off, Kid Super was like a very popular brand or whatever. Um, and it was always colorful, you know, with the streetwear look. And uh, yeah, these, these, are, mm, these are not it, man. These are not it. But this is just one of them. This is just one of them. Let's, let's see what else. Let's see what else he got. Oh, nope, nope. These, again, look like the, uh, the, 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 the joint that Doug Funny was trying to, trying to buy. The, um, I forgot the dude name. But yeah, these look like his sneakers he was trying to get. Yeah, they, these are not it either. Ah, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that mad at these. Colorway can be better. Colorway can be better, but I'm not that mad at these. Puma has been doing some things with their collaborations. Like everything nowadays is all about collabing. And and I respect that. I respect that they're collabing with a lot of, you know, the, the, the new brands coming out, streetwear brands or whatever, or just regular high-end brands. I respect that they're doing that. I'm just such a classic type of guy. Like I see they trying to add a little flair to the classic look. And the I'm I'm not that, that mad at these, honestly. This this particular one. Um this is uh in a different colorway probably fire um these kind of remind me of the old ice creams that came out back in the day the ice cream reebok joints kind of remind me of that uh yeah i'm, I'm cool on, on on this particular one and then they got you know the sandal you know if that's what you're into you want the toes out do what you do uh but these are coming out september 17th this range from a price of 80 dollars to 140 dollars uh, Kid Super by Puma Collection. Cop up if this what you want to mess with. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, people that rock with Kid Super from back in the day, I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to come mess with this. You know, these still got loyal fans or whatever. Uh, but yeah, moving on, moving on. Okay, we have the Star Wars by Adidas, the Impact Strikes Back Collection. Yes, Star Wars has jumped into the sneaker game. They did a collaboration with Adidas. Um, first up, we have um, we have the Ultra Boost, also known as the Princess Leia. Yeah, got these classic white with the black bottom. I always like Ultra Boost, and and uh, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Um, so yeah, this is simple. We just got the Princess Leia on the on the tongue. Then we have the Superstar. You know, the shell toe, Darth Vader's, also known as the Darth Vader's. Uh, yeah, these are not it. Um, they they changed the they they decided to change the shell toe part and put Darth Vader on it. Uh, on on the on the toe. Yeah, um, cool on that. Uh, we also have the NMD R1 V2, also known as the Lando, the Lando joints. So yeah, we got these. This colorway is doo doo. Nah, I'm cool. Uh, and we have the. Top 10 high C3POs. You know they had to do a gold pair for the three uh the C3POs, you know. Um, so yeah, this is the, the classic top 10 Adidas joints. And uh if you want to get back on your gold sneaker game, I'm not that mad at these either. Not that mad at these. I remember back back in oh man, what was it? Had to be like 2008. Oh, maybe a little after that, maybe like 2009, 10. Um, gold sneakers was like a thing. They had the gold Supras, 
Uh, shout out to Mickey Fax. He, 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 he had niggas on the go supers crazy. He had them on the go supers crazy. But uh, yeah. So just seeing this metallic gold situation, it kind of kind of brings me back to that time. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, again, this package ranged from $90 to $180. Also coming out on September 17th. She, September 17th, if you're a sneakerhead and you mess with a bunch of doo-doo looking sneakers, you're gonna have a fun time and you're gonna be broke before the 18th. <laughs> but we moving right along. Oh, oh, that, that siren, that's the fashion police for any of y'all that plan on copying any of these doo-doo sneakers. Yeah, but um, uh, anyways, we have the Nike Dunk High Spartan Green. You know, the uh, Spartan Green, you know, that's that Michigan State color. But uh, these are coming out 7, September 18th. This is a classic, classic look. You know, the high is going for $120, $20. And, um, you know, it's been a bunch of dunk lows. They decided to throw the high in the mix. I'm not that mad at these, man. I'm not that mad at these. This is a uh, classic looking green with the white. You know, I'm not mad at this. Uh, so apparently, uh, when I said that the Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 was coming out, the Pepper, that only came out globally. Now it's coming out for the US. And it's coming out September 18th for the Reflective Pepper and September 13th <coughs> for the Non-Reflective. I mean, September 19th for the Non-Reflective. Um, this was, this is, these are actually, I, right. I don't know why I mess with these. This is, this is different. Um, these are going for 230 again for the non-reflective, 250 for the reflective. Uh, yeah, so these are coming out uh, for the, in the United States now, and you know, cop up, whatever. Moving on, we have the Reebok by Brain Dead Pump, Court, and Beatnik. So they 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 coming back with the pump look. <clears throat> these are interesting. These are interesting. This is a fun like, graffiti look for the pump court. <clears throat> and uh, these go for 160. This is a collaboration with Cal NG's uh, Brain Dead. Um, you know, so it's a colorful little take. You have different materials on this sneaker also. And uh, yeah, that's it for the pump court joints. Then, you know, the beatniks, just the expensive croc that's all it is a fabric a croc with fabric yeah uh 120 for these uh yeah still these are not it he's just look like a fun version of trash yeah moving on <clears throat> and of course we have air jordan 14 hyper royal coming out september 19th 190 dollars these are hyper royals looks like it took the you know, the classic look of the candy reds, of the OG candy reds. They just decided to put the blue <clears throat> on on it, like a metallic blue. Um, I mean, these are all right. Wouldn't rush to get them. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm cool on this, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, Hyper Royals, the 14s. I do like the 14s, although I'm not mad at it. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah. If you want to mess with this, then uh, again, coming out Nike sneakers and Foot Locker. So uh, general release, you know, just cop up. Moving on, we got the A Few by Sakani Shadow 5000 Time and Space. Uh, September 19th, 150 euros, approximately 178 US dollars. Uh, you can buy these at A Few. A few. Uh, I'm not mad at these. I'm not that mad at these. These are these are alright. Um, this the you know the, the charcoal look with the green and the the yellow gum bottom. I think is it is. So uh, this is it's, it's giving you like a a, a space feel because it's called time and space. So um, yeah, it's giving it's giving you that type of feel like it's moon rock or situation or something. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Again, $178, September 19th. We have the Nike Air Max One Limeade. Yeah, these look like the Sprite editions. Cool on these, cool on these. 
Uh, it's got the green with the yellow. I don't know, the Celtic Pride edition. Uh, shout out to Damon Wayne, Celtic Pride. Uh, September 19th, $140. Nike sneakers app. Um, this apparently is a style, standout style from 2006 Powerwall pack that they had uh, done with the lemon lime colorway. Like again, it looks like a Sprite situation. But uh, yeah, if that's what you're into, I'm cool on this. I'm cool on this for sure. Uh, moving on, <clears throat> we have the End Clothing by Adidas Superstore. Alternative luxury, luxury, uh, Superstore, uh, excuse me. The Adidas Superstar. Alternative luxury. This is uh, September 19th, 130 of them things. Uh, I mean, I'm, not that, I'm not too mad at these. I'm not the biggest fan of shell toes, but I'm not too mad at these because it got the fun material. It has a, a burgundy back on one sneaker, then it has the green back on another, you know, with the different colors. I always like, you know, the fun, it got the fun plaid on the tongue. These are kind of cool, you know, it look like some customs or something. But uh, yeah, alternative luxury is what they call it. It's a luxe, uh, luxe leather base with the, uh, you know, multicolor plaid um, and some suede on it also. So, uh, you know, you mess with these, cop up. Cop up. Moving on, we have Instant Skateboards by Nike SB Dunk Lows. Uh, of course, Dunk Lows, the year of the dunks. This is a celebration of the Japanese skate mainstay 25th anniversary. Anniversary, anniversary. Uh, $100, September 19th, only at Instant Skateboards. You know, you got the blue with the black on the back and the black check with some white and on the, around the toe box and then on the actual toe box you have the gray. So it's a lot going on here. Uh, look like a cool, fun situation. So if you wanna mess with that, mess with them. Uh, that's it for the sneaker releases, man. Um, as always, if you cop up, please hashtag close down or just you know tag your boy at Devon and Conquers in it uh, or close down. Yeah, um, I want to see your outfits, man. I want to see your outfits. It's the fall about to come. You know it's about to get crazy. Layer time is here. What y'all going to do? It's time to get fly for real. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going to need to see the tweeds come out. I'm going to need to see some corduroy. Heavy layering. Yes, all that. I need to see it. Let's see what y'all doing. And... And then don't just go following all the trends, please. I don't want to call y'all Trendy Williams. I'm not trying to see y'all out here. And hashtags, stay away from all the hashtags and following all the trends on the hashtags. I want to see some of y'all, y'all, y'all own, y'all own uh, expression through fashion. You know, I just seen, oh man, I just seen a, a definition of fashion I thought was really dope, and it explains how I feel how I feel about, you know, just fashion in general. And I kind of wanted to share that with y'all and, and kind of give my insight on it. Uh, fashion, a form of art and self-expression, individuality, visual storytelling through clothing. The stories behind the clothes we choose to wear and stories we create around them. That's an ill definition for fashion. That's an ill definition. Um, that's what fashion is, man. That's what fashion is. Fashion is not going out to buy what you see the next man wearing because that's how he wanted to express himself or that's how she wanted to express herself. So you can take some of that and blend it into your everyday. When it looks like the clothes is wearing you, it shows. Wear the clothes, don't let the clothes wear you. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, <clears throat> I haven't said all that. I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, as always, we're gonna close it out. Follow your boy at Devon and Conquers. Follow at Close Down. Follow the other show, Across the Board Show. And follow the podcast, Board underscore Head underscore Thoughts. All on IG. You already know what time it is. And uh, please like and subscribe this video. Like and subscribe to this video. IG, like, save, share, all that good stuff. Um, it's nothing else, nothing else to say, man. Nothing else to say. Except.
I am not a stylist. I'm just stylish. You already know what it is. Holla at your boy. Two fingers. Somebody roofed this